we will, we will. This should be easy. In the title of the stream, I can't hear anything other than Danny Phantom's theme song. Let's go. Howdy, partner. Hey, Mayosa, Mayosa86. Welcome to the yogurt aisle. Welcome on in. Get a bowl, get some fruit, and have a nice little snack. Thank you so much for the support, Mayosa. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I can't, I can't remember Danny Phantom's theme song. I watched Danny Phantom as a kid, but I don't know how the song went. I'm glad to see you, Panda. Welcome on in. Hope you're well. Um, I don't know. I'm try I can't. I can't think of it. But I hope you do like the title. I'll put it in the Discord. Let's go. I hope y'all do appreciate the title, though. I went. I went insane o mode on the, the the capitalization and stuff. I thought it would be funny. Danny Phantom. Do you not know Danny Phantom, Cloud? He's a he's a he's a a boy that can turn into a ghost. It's a cartoon, uh, and he fights other ghosts essentially to to save his school. And his dad is a scientist. Maybe that's how he turned him into a ghost. I think his dad turned him into a ghost on accident. Why that sounds so sad? Like his dad didn't kill him. He's still alive. He's just he has ghost powers. His dad his dad can choose. His dad accidentally made him choose the, uh, have the ability to choose to be into, into a ghost. Like with the watch. No, that's Ben Ten. I think. I think that's Ben 10, and he turns into aliens. I would like to hear more about the yogurt aisle lore. Um, it's, it's, uh, I don't know. We, I eat a lot of yogurt. I eat yogurt for breakfast, and we talk about it a lot. And I was like, I don't know what to call our community. And then, um, yogurt aisle was the only thing I came up with that seemed to have any, any, like, positive vibes attached to it. Like, people were like, yeah. So I was like, all right, yogurt aisle, sure. So there's, I don't know, it just, it just landed. We eat, we eat yogurt, it's, it, you know, so that's that's what it is. The Glenn Cartoon, he went to his parents' machine, they weren't there and activated the machine. Oh no, no, he didn't go to the future. I think he became a ghost. Um, I think he activated the machine and became a ghost. I believe, I believe there's no time travel in Danny Phantom. I could be wrong, but I believe so. Yogurt to be kidding me? Yes, indeed. Nah, but that's, that's where it comes from. It's just because I eat yogurt for breakfast, and uh, we talk about it and stuff, so I don't know. Go some ghost powers because his parents were fascinated with ghosts, and the machine was going to go into the ghost zone. The ghost zone! That's so good. Is that what it's actually called? I love that, dude. I'm going to the ghost zone tonight, boys. I love that. I love that so much. I don't know why. The ghost zone sounds pretty cool. I agree. I, 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 I don't know why, but that phrase, is, it, it's, it's good. Maybe I'll watch it. What are you guys on about? Danny Phantom! Danny Phantom. It's a, it's an old cartoon we watched when we were kids. It's, it's a, it was a good enough show. I liked it. I, I can't say it's like an amazing like all time classic, but it was good. It's not you know it's no it's no Courage the Cowardly Dog, but it was a good show. I actually didn't like Courage. It was too scary for me. I think we've talked about this before. When when Courage the Cowardly Dog would come on, I couldn't like convince myself to turn it off, but it horrified me. It was, it was like watching like a train wreck. I couldn't turn it off, but I, I didn't want to watch it. But I kept watching it. It was just so scary, dude. It was actually like oh, the scariest thing in the world. I have no idea how that like made its way to children's cartoons. Ben 10 2.0. I think Danny Phantom was earlier than Ben 10. I don't know though. They both came out when I was a kid. So I, I like, you know, it's all blended together. I've seen like three cartoons. Did you not watch cartoons as a kid? Did you all not have a, a TV set at the house? Or you just, maybe your parents just didn't want you watching, car watching cartoons. That's also very reasonable. Maybe for the best, Steven. I don't know though. But I watched a lot of cartoons. I was a cartoon kid. I watched quite a few. You know, just as a kid, so I couldn't watch a lot of them. Oh, okay. That makes that makes sense. Growing up in the French part of Canada, didn't have access to the English language yet. You hadn't unlocked English. You weren't up the tech tree far enough to know English. You specced into French. Anything that came before released in 2004, Nintendo was 2005. Oh, okay, that's I, I, I thought that's how it worked, but I didn't I didn't have a great reason for thinking that. So I couldn't. I wasn't very confident. I was like, I don't know. I felt like Danny was first, but I couldn't. I wasn't really sure. But I liked Ben 10 as well. I thought Ben 10 was pretty good. I thought it was was cool. I don't know. I think I think I kind of fell out of Ben 10 though. But also that I think I just aged out of the the group, like the the target demographic. 
by the time Ben 10 was on for a little while, I just stopped being as interested in um, cartoons. Also, that's amazing loot. Original Ben 10, yes, the other series lost me entirely. Was there another Ben 10? I didn't, I didn't even, if there was a second Ben 10, I was, I was fully, fully, like, out of the age group for it. I didn't, I didn't know anything about that one. This is an insane amount of belts. We'll need to, um, we'll, we'll only be able to buy, like, one beer, and then we'll, we'll have to throw it on the floor. There's three or four now? Whoa, really? That's insane. That's a lot. So Ben 10 was, like, pretty popular. If they keep cracking out new ones, it must have been a, a well, well-received show. I like the way you look when you're dual-wielding swords. You look kind of chad. You look really cool, I think. That's like the best part about dual-wielding swords, is how you look. Also, this is not how you get home from here. I went down. I needed to go up. I just assumed we went up before. Freebie. We have to go all the way up now. No. It's actually, it's not a big deal at all. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just crying for no reason. It's literally just one click. Okay, but we'll be super rich. Um, so I might actually do that plan I was talking about of not buying armor or anything. Just going psycho mode, going straight to Bryn. And trying to buy a good weapon from the bailiff. Well, we'll see how much I get from all the all the beer and the, the pelts. But it's like, it's going to be a lot. It's actually going to be a lot. Um, so we, we have another fox pelt. No, we sold that one. We sold that one. But we have like three Saega pelts, another uh, bunny pelt. Like there's there's a lot. Um, if we can get like three or four grand pretty quick, I might just wiggle my way down to Bryn, and I'll do a Bryn walk. We won't take the uh, the fast travel. If we're, if we're going super early, you know, super cheap mode, um, we'll just walk down there to save a thousand bucks. And I didn't open up the uh, the chest here either. There could be some, some dankness in this chest. So this isn't quite as good as the other start, but this is still a pretty good start. It doesn't have the insane axe or anything, but overall still decent. And we got some gloves, that's fine. It's not good, but it's fine, you know? They're, they're not the best gloves, but we had none literally, so I'll take that. I will take a, a small improvement over having literally nothing equipped. And then again, we have to buy one beer and throw it down, and then we can buy the other one. And we'll come back for that beer when we when we do uh, finish the beer run. When we travel over Manshire Way. We'll sell all this off back in town. What's your favorite the dumb conspiracy theory? Please keep this very lighthearted, everyone. Don't, don't. Please keep this very lighthearted. No, no political conspiracy theories. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I even have one. I have, I have some that I like don't really believe in, but I think are funny. But I don't want to mention them because again, they're not, they're not lighthearted enough. They're, they're too serious. But there's, there's definitely a few that I, you know, I don't really believe, but I think are fun. Y'all hear about the, the Mexican aliens? Any any believers in the Mexican aliens? I didn't see them, but I have seen a lot of pictures, of, like meme pictures of them. Uh, you know, like fake, fake aliens put in place of whatever was shown. I fully don't believe those. I don't know if anyone's heard of it. Apparently there was a big um, like alien, like UFO or whatever they're called now, convention in Mexico. And one of the dudes there was like, I have real aliens. And it's just going to be like a, I don't know, like a, a raccoon wrapped up or something. It's always it's always just something that's not an alien, but it's it's funny. It's very funny. I, I like the, uh, the, the the new Mexican alien memes. They're they're great. It's a, it's a good it's a good meme. You got to get it while it's hot. Ben ten Ben ten Alien Force Ben ten Ultimate Aliens Ben ten Omniverse and then rebooted twenty sixteen as Ben ten. That's insane. That's a lot. That is that's way more Ben ten than I thought existed. I literally thought there was just the regular Ben ten. Uh, honestly, the aliens look like a paper mache project. I haven't seen them. Let me Google them. Let me just type Mexican alien. <laughs> they look so stupid. They do look like a paper mache project. This is going to be like so bad for, for YouTube, but I'm going to show you all this image. Um, whatever. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, uh, how do I do this? OBS. Uh, display capture should show up now should show up hmm oh it's beneath the game capture let me drag it over the game capture there you go look at this alien yo wait this isn't how you do it why isn't it showing it's being weird as heck oh my my, my display capture is all drug overall insane sorry we're, we're going psycho mode 
Let me try to line this up. Okay, there we go. Look at this alien. This is not an alien. This is, yeah, 100% a third grade science project. That is that is the goofiest looking thing I've ever seen. That is so good, man. That is so good. Okay, let me turn back off display capture so you don't see my private info. Okay. <laughs> let me go back to let me go back to all the game capture and pull Twitch up. Where's Twitch? Oh, I shut I shut my Twitch. I I, sh I literally shut shut my Twitch just now when I closed that tab. Hold up. You may hear someone speaking because I'm on the homepage of Twitch. Okay, okay, okay. It was Grand Theft Auto. I'm so glad it was muted. Grand Theft Auto is not something you want playing in the background of your of your family friendly channel. Uh, all right, we're we're set up again. Those look like ET. Maybe they bring ET two or something. How you doing, Necrod? Hearthstone. Water. Water. It's a llama head backwards. Yeah, it looked terrible, dude. They also did live action films. Really? Ben Ten like went hard. Apparently, people loved Ben Ten. I didn't know any of that stuff. I, I literally thought Ben 10 was like mid. I thought I thought no one knew anything about it. Like I like you know I thought it was just a small show and no one cared. Oh my God, these Oprah is what I expected to hear. Yes. But I I love the I love the the aliens. It's always it's always good when you see some fake aliens. It's it's just it's nothing quite like it. I just I wanna I wanna interview the person who showed up with those aliens. I wanna be like, what was your plan? Did you think everyone would believe that's an alien? And I'm sure the people at the, the convention were like, Pog, aliens are real, we found a proof. But like, what did you think after the convention ended? What, what was the plan? Someone would, would check that eventually, right? Like someone's gonna check and make sure that that's like a piece of cake and not an alien. I don't know what, what your plan is when, when they check. Hey, Lazy Love Lazy, how you doing? Welcome on in. Sell them for a half you knock on a raccoon. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what, what's up. I don't know what they're doing. Totally believed it when it looked like someone's sandcastle. Yeah. It, it was it was terrible, man. It was not good looking. It was very funny. I'm glad I looked it up just now. Because I'd only seen meme pictures. I'd only seen meme pictures. The actual aliens looked so fake, dude. Okay. So let's get out of here. But I hope you're well, Lazy. Hope you're well, man. Hope you've been doing good. I, I've not been dying at all. We've been making it to late game all the time. We've been we've been making it to late game on every character. We've explored the new update really well. I promise. I promise. Don't worry about the levels. We're definitely not dying constantly. I'm good. Let's go. Oh yes, save. Let's go. Aliens are 100 percent real. I get what you're talking about. It reminds me of G Ma, like your grandma. I was work yesterday. It was fine. It was fine. My work is. It, I just I just have to do a bunch of like paperwork essentially at my computer and, and make calls and stuff. It's always tedious and boring. It's 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 very bland. It's pretty much the same like constantly. But it was it was fine. Thank you for asking. Not too bad, but not too good either. Work, you know, it was work. It was work. And what did I want to do in here? I wanted to speak to the old man. That's what I wanted to do in here. And we'll go back to the, the beer run. I forgot to get the ring, too. So, glad we got that. Hey, it looks like it burnt up in the atmosphere. Yeah, for real. It looks weird. It looks weird. Okay, is this stuff stolen? Yes. What about the cheap stuff, though? This stuff shouldn't be stolen. It's still stolen? Why? I've been gone for so long. Whatever. We'll just send it. Um, I don't know where my other purse is. Oh, it's right there. Okay. I was like, it's got to be somewhere. So we'll go back to, uh, we'll go to Manshire, and then hopefully this stuff won't be stolen when we come back and I can sell it off, but I don't know. Probably won't be. Really want to see the thought process of the career. That's same, like, same. That's what I'm talking about. Like, I want to, I want to speak to the person that showed up with those aliens. No judgment. Like, you live your own life. I just want to know. I just, just, I just want to know what you were doing. Work is labor, so I always dread it, even though I love my job. Just lazy a little bit. So contradicting, contradicting. Yeah. I, I, I know how it feels. I, I used to do, like, remodeling, and it was really, like, fulfilling to, like, you know, when the when the job was done to see all the beautiful, like, physical, like, you know, the world was literally different after I had worked there, you know? Like, their house was, like, you know, I changed someone's home in a way that they're happy with, but when you're sitting there swinging a hammer, you're like, oh, my God, I hate life. I, I know the feeling. The start of the day is toxic. Yeah, yeah. 
then when it's done it's like holy yeah yeah it's 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 weird it's it's a it's a strange it's a strange feeling because you're it's so much like hard work but then you get like a nice reward at the end seeing how it's you know how pretty it looks any comments i have are not stream safe yeah yeah i would i say pretty much same same all right let's go over there there's a barrel of beer on the ground, so we're up to like 2,900 after it's sold. Maybe a little less, but out there. Can I get what this does? Hmm? But I'm gonna claim it. Oh, is it, is it, is it the eight, right? Six yes. Six a.m. and already the boy ain't right. I knew that was coming. I knew it was gonna be that one. It's uh that one and still talking are uh, Hank Hill quotes. They, they talk trash. Love it. Let's go. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. It's it's they're 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 kind of expensive because uh, I don't want them spammed, but I think they I think they're good. I think they're good additions. Um, I'll show off the uh, still talking one as well, because uh, of course I have infinity points. So I can do this whenever I want. My God, are you still talking? There we go. Makes us more cherishable. <laughs> I can't English. Hey Eric, how you doing? Well, come on in, Eric. That's the most fulfilling jobs are like. The process of getting to the end is usually painful. Yeah. That's pretty true. You know, if it was if it was easy, everyone would do it. It's the it's the hard labor that, you know, or at least partially it's the hard labor that makes it so, so pretty at the end, you know. Knowing you put an effort, blood, sweat, and tears to make it look like that, you know, adds to the uh, the value of it. Not saying that if a robot made it, it wouldn't be also beautiful, but the hard work, you know, is nice. Doing well if you are too. Yeah, I'm doing really well, Eric. Thank you for asking. Doing really well. It's been it's been a lovely, lovely few days. Been playing some different games and stuff. It's good. Got to start saving up for that ten mil to send a message. Well, I mean, you're you're already sub, so you don't need to worry about that. But we will we will never be in sub only chat. That is that is of course just a meme. Worry not about that. I just can't delete it for some reason. The I couldn't remove that. Maybe I just don't know how, and I couldn't find out. Like I missed it, but but I, I just wanted to remove it. It wouldn't let me, so I made it so much. Got to save money too, so I can get my license back. What? You lost your license, lazy? I, that sucks, dude. I would recommend yes. I would recommend saving up for that. I need a I need a night a night's rest so I can sell the beer in the morning. But yeah, dude, that sucks. That really sucks, lazy. I'll send a chest message, send a message. Hmm? Not to send a chat message, to send a message. Oh, I see, like, 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 like the Joker, send a message. Like when he burns all the money. Years ago, I don't messed up at it a year. I had to go a year without it. Oh, well, I, I hope you get it back then, man. I hope you get it back. I don't have a car myself right now, but it's, it's, all, it's always nice having the ability to drive, you know. Just, just having the freedom to get behind the wheel is, is good, so. Hope you're able to get it. I missed my truck. Yeah. It's 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 always nice having a you know, just a vehicle. But I haven't had a car in a few years. Imagine having and needing to drive. I mean you might you might you might be one of the folks that are that are driving soon, Cloud. You might be you might be on the other op the opposite side of that story. You might be like, mm, imagine not driving. I work off island, so I need it. Do you live on like PEI? That's the only Canadian island I know. Do you do you by chance live there? If you live somewhere else, it's a it's a mythical island I've never heard of. Essentially, um, sorry, I live in Montreal. Oh, okay, Montreal is an island. What? Really? I didn't know that. That's heavy today. I learned energy. That's cool. I didn't know that at all. Look it up. I definitely will. Is it Montreal big? I, th I always thought that was mainland. Okay, uh, we don't need anything here. We need the backpack. I, I, uh, yeah, we do need something here. I knew there was something. It's not big, but it's all right. Okay. Well, I will, I will definitely look that up. If you look up real close. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, heard anything interesting? And uh, do you need work? Blah blah blah. blah. Actually, surrounded by water. I didn't know that at all. That's so cool. I will, I will definitely check that out. Oh, it's not even off in Narnia. Let's go. Hermit's Hut is actually right here. It's really known as the island of Montreal. <laughs> okay. Montreal is an interesting island. Do you have do you have a mixed history with Montreal, Cloud? Yeah, I live in Laval, which is an off island. Oh, okay. It's it's like a, a smaller like a, a, a smaller island off the, the bigger <laughs> island of Montreal. We got Honolulu not having a car is easier because the city has excellent public bus system. It actually goes over the entire island of Ova. Entire island of Oahu. 
not just the city. Let's go. I'm a huge fan of public transit. We, I wish America had more and better public transit. The fall is actually bigger than Montreal. Okay. My, my ignorance is showing. My ignorance is showing. Quebec is a strange place. I can see that. And I never know if it's Quebec or Quebec. I don't know how you tell the difference between which one you're supposed to say. I know, I know there are two. I know there's a time when you say Quebec and a time when you say Quebec, and I don't know when you're supposed to do one or the other. Montreal lost my documentation on my visit to it. Oh, that sucks. Stone, you what? Stone Owl? What? I don't, I'm not gonna. I don't want to read that one out. I say it like, hmm. Quebec. Oh, okay, okay. I'll call it Quebec then. I will call it Quebec. But I, I don't. I don't know what you mean there, Stone. I, I don't want to read it out, though. I'm afraid it's like, I'm going to get Ligma. <laughs> I'm worried that that is a Ligma incoming. But some but some pronounce it Quebec. Oh, okay. I, th I thought it, there was two. I thought I thought Quebec was like the name of a... And again, super ignorant here. I could be way wrong. I thought Quebec was the name of a city and also a, a uh, province. And I thought one of them was Quebec and the other one was Quebec. But again, literally like super ignorant to that. So I don't know. I'll come back in Quebec City. Oh, okay, okay. Both the same. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So it's just, it's just some folks pronounce it one way and some folks pronounce it the other. I'm glad to know. I will I will feel less like worried when I say it. Because I, I literally, all every time I read the word Quebec out, I'm like, I don't know if I'm saying this right. But now I know, now I know. I can just, I can just choose. Like tomato, tomato, yeah. I've never met anyone that says tomato, except for British people, you know, the British accent. But I've never met anyone that says tomato. Um, and I mean, other other also British accents, like Australians might say it as well. But um, I've never met someone with a, a, a North American accent that said tomato. Or potato. Um, I've seen people go like, potato, potato. I'm like, I've never actually heard potato. <laughs> or H's and Z's. Hmm? That one I don't know. That, 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 that phrase is... That, that one is missing. I say potato like that. Do you really? You don't say potato, Cloud? You say potato? I mean, I'm assuming that that's how that's how I'm supposed to read that out. The potato like that. So you want to chat when you come around? Just remind me. Okay, okay. Let's go. Let's go. I will. I will. I will remind you indeed. Um, but yeah, I've never, I've never heard someone say potato. It's one potato. Not a word, because I have to be clear, but just on instinct. Oh, that's cool. That's really neat. I'm supposed to say Z. It's not something I subscribe to. I say Z. I, I think the uh, the Z. Oh, is that what you mean by H's and Z's? Like H and Z? That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, H is one that I like. I like saying H instead of H. No one, there's no reason for me to say H. No one I've ever spoken to in my real, real world says it like that. But um, but I like to say H instead of H. I prefer it. Hatch or Hatch. <laughs> or Z or Z. The Z is, it sounds weird to me. When I hear people say Z, I'm like, what? That's not a letter. That's, that's not a letter. That's a word, dude. But I know it's a letter. It just doesn't sound like it to my brain. Um, but H I like. Like saying like the HK instead of HK, I think it sounds nicer. I don't know. Public transportation is a trade-off. I speak as an American who lived in Europe for 17 years. The bunch is much. Ah! I'm gonna die to this snake poison. There's nothing I can do about it. I'll just use this right away. Stupid snakes, man. Well, it didn't kill me. Let's go. Um. I saw the second one. Oh, okay. Public transportation is a trade-off. I speak as an American who lives in Europe. Seven, the bus is much cheaper. Gas is expensive here, and there's little free parking. But shopping for groceries means a bag or two, a uh, two-bag limit can take up to an hour. Oh, I bet that is annoying. I bet that is annoying. I didn't consider that at all. Bring in, bring in a, bag, a grocery cart full of groceries onto the the the, uh, the bus with you. That does seem like a little problematic. I'm I'm lucky. I have a, an H E B, which is a supermarket, but I love it. Um, I don't, you know, I don't I don't love all the the big corporations, but I have some respect for H E B. I don't know if that's propaganda and they have, I've just been sucked in, but I, I think they're a respectable corporation. But I have an HEB literally like two blocks away from me. If I if I need to go pick something up, I can just walk and get it. It's nice. I, I, I Where I live is... I didn't, you know, move here because there was an HEB nearby, but it worked out. It worked out really well. Same. Let's go. It, it's really nice being able to walk to the store. I got lucky with where I live. Yeah. 
It's a, I've never had that like before. When I was a kid, we had a 7-Eleven that was a couple blocks away. Like, like you know, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes walk and we would go get snacks sometimes, but that's not a proper like market, you know? That's, that's just like a, you know, a little convenience store. So having a, a real like place for groceries down there is nice. <clears throat> Your stances on things now make a lot more sense, Corpo Slave. I, I don't, I, again, most corporations I don't love, but I think HEB is relatively respectable. I don't think they're like pure evil. I hate where I I hate where I live, but I love the location. I hate where I live, but I love the location. I'm trying to parse that. What does that mean? You like you 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 like like the 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 surrounding forest, but you hate your house itself? I don't I don't know. I don't know. I'm not I'm not sure about that one, Cloud. I live right besides uh, the 13 highway in five minutes in either direction. I have two grocery stores and a dollar store and a corner store, everything I need. Let's go. That is good. That is good. Oh, I see. Okay, I love where I'm at, but I hate replace. Yeah, okay, okay. So it's just you just wish it was located differently. You could just pluck up all the uh, all the, the nature around you and take it to a, a maybe a closer a closer area to town or something. I could see that. I live in Brussels at the grocery store and bakery within three minute walk and made life very convenient. I bet so, I bet so. Wish I didn't live in Quebec, but I love Montreal. I don't. I don't really love my uh, my city. Um, I've never shared what city I live in, but it's a coastal city, um, and I don't. I don't love it. It's so toxic. Montreal is awesome. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Canada in general seems like a relatively nice nation. Just the French laws is toxic. Are there are there are there like significantly different laws in the different provinces? Um, you know, like, state to state, there are some changes, but overall, the laws are more or less the same. Um, are there, are there more, uh, like, uh, more, more, um, exciting, not exciting, but more dramatic changes between, uh, province to province? That's cool. From Quebec, heck yeah. Okay, that's, that's true. I would have never guessed that. It might as well be a different country. Whoa, really? There's, like, there's a big change in the laws? I didn't know that at all. They tried, I know they tried. I do know that there's been, um, more than one attempt to get that through. I have, I have no knowledge of, of the, the consequences of, of the uh, what would happen if it did separate, so I will I will stay my tongue on that one. But living near a bakery would have been really nice. I'm sure that was, like, awesome, Eric. I'm sure you had some delicious breads in the mornings. Quebec is interesting, too. I'm, I'm you know, there's, there's I'm sh all, uh, all, all nations have, have places like that that are just, like, weird, essentially. They're just, they're a different vibe than the rest of the nation, so... I got two of those too. That's nice. That is really nice, lazy. I I would kill for a fresh fresh bakery fresh bakery nearby. I couldn't say that. Um, I love fresh bread. I used to. I we said this before. I used to make my own bread. It's just such a hassle. Making bread takes like so long. It's, it takes like way too much effort to get one loaf. So I just buy like whatever bread from the store. But again, like H E B makes a uh, makes their own bread in house. Like, I, you know, the bread is, it's not amazing. It's not bakery level, but it's fresh, at least. It's real bread and stuff, so. I love fresh bagels. Ate them with nothing on them. <laughs> They're fresh. I mean, yeah. I, I don't, I don't eat that many bagels. Um, just because, I don't know. Just not a super common thing down here. But, but I'm, I'm like that with bread as well. I, when I, like, when I would take bread out of the oven, I would literally just eat some of it right there. Like, just, just bread. No butter, not toasted. No, no toppings. Just bread. It's good. Like, for, it's, I don't know. There's something about fresh baked goods that hit like way different. Like, you know, you're like, ah, it's, it's kind of old. I'll eat it. That's fine. But if it's fresh, it's like delicious. Fresh, fresh baked goods are like, they they hit different. I don't know what to say. They're just way better. And I mean, you know, like I was saying, most stuff is better fresh, but I think, I think baked goods are, are like even, even better. I was the French angle attention to Canada when I lived in Belgium, the political divide between the French and Flemish was so bad. They weren't able to form a government the entire three years I lived there. Really? So there was, there was just like, do you mean, do you mean that there were like two different like governing systems? Um, and they were like competing or you just like had no, like you had no like, like prime minister or whatever when you were there, Eric. That's insane. If so, two head axe, did two head mall go down again? Yes. Sadly, a nine it did. I've been dying a lot. I've been dying a lot of, as of late. So sadly, yes. My, uh, my, my, my mace character is dead. 
We actually we we lost an axe character as well. We've 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 already died on another character since then. We've been we've been kind of falling falling all over the place today. I've been struggling to keep my my legs underneath me. But this character is gonna be the one. This is gonna be the one that survives and takes on all the content and wins the game. But yeah, sadly we died. I don't even know what killed the uh, the two handed mace build anymore. I can't remember. Too too long ago. And they have a parliament system and couldn't uh, for and couldn't for a majority government, so they could only spend the same amount of money for each new year and couldn't adjust the budget. Oh, okay, okay. Well, at least there was like some you know. It might have been, like, stalled out, but there was still, like, a government system in place, you know? That seems like a really, uh, like, interesting, like, system. I know a lot of other um, nations have stuff like that, where if you don't vote a majority party in, you end up with, like, like a kind of stall. Um, that seems neat. Of course, there's, like, it's not really, like, in America, it doesn't work like that, so. It's, it's very cool looking from the outside in to see how systems like that work. Again, no comment on which is better or whatever. I I no I know none of like I'm not I don't know enough to have an opinion on that. I'm not a political expert, but I think it's interesting. My comments are that it is interesting. Part of how I am from French lineage because I'm stubborn to a fault. Are the French famous for being stubborn? Is that a characteristic of the French people? Hey everybody, Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.